All right, well, we're up to race number eight, the Eastern Standard Handicap. This is over a 1,000 metres. We're going to have a look at a few runs. It's that sort of a race. At the end of the day, a Casper Cowboy might blow them all away. Anna Sazas, uh, this was uh, at 1,300 metres last start, and Peter Nucky is the rider of Anna Sazas. Uh, Lucino and Priceless Symbol out of the same race there. Mathalo put in an absolute Barry Crocker last start. Casper Cowboy's flying. And we'll go back and have a look at the trial of Al Katarina. A couple of other runs Marty include. Uh, Love a Buzz, who won last start at Belmont when racing first up and wasn't a bad win either. And the only other one to keep an eye on is number nine, Jackass. The one down the bottom, he ran eight of ten last start at Belmont, probably slightly disappointing from his previous form. Well, it was the 4th of August, last race of the day. Anna Sazas was involved in a fairly heated speed battle up front. Uh, Desi Arnez, the big chestnut on the outside, runs past Anna Sazas, opens up the gate for I Command to come off the fence and get the money. Run when they turn, then talk to the wall. Followed further back by Garbo Storm. 300 metres out. Desi Arnes looms alongside of Anasazis. Draws level, gets the head in front, hide the loot. I command behind them, trying to push into the clear. Desi Arnes at the hundred, the leader from Anasazis. I command is starting to whittle away the margin. I command, Desi Arnes talk to the wall, coming with a blistering run. Talk to the wall, I command, I command. I command, I think, fell in from talk to the wall. Desi Arnes third, not sure about fourth. On the inside, Anasazis. Well, Peter Nucky's had a great association with Anasazis. Let's have a listen to what he's got to say about the Johnny Botel trained horse's chances on Saturday. It's had solid each way claims. For sure, he's got to be right in the mix there. He won, I won on a 1,000 metre race on him probably about four starts back. He's had a few 1,200 since. Driving back to the 1,000, three weeks between runs should, should be up his alley. All right, I don't know uh, there was a race picked out for him last week, but uh, opted for uh, this Saturday. Yeah, well, he drew the outside and it looked, looked to be a bit stronger and he looked like he would probably either do a bit too much work or get caught wide. So we thought we'd wait for the 1,000 lesser grade race, but the acceptance has been quite good for this one, so we just got to test him and see how good he is. Now let's go back three weeks to the 28th of July. Lucino won on this occasion. She's up there three deep outside the leaders and the grey filly just does enough to win to hold off the late lunge of Priceless Symbol. He gets right back in the field and flies home between runners but he has had one start since, when he finished 8 of 12 over the 1200. Place Lashino when they turn the bend. They've angled out off the rails now. They've headed towards the middle of the course. Island Force in front of Lashino. A length and a half. Stratozoa followed further back behind them by Jackass. Storm on by is near the inside, running on. But now going to the leaders, Lashino with 150 to go. Storm on by against the fence and Super Dragons running on. Lashino and now coming through Stratozoa and Priceless Symbol. Lashino on the outside. In the middle then, priceless symbol. I think Lashino's won. Well, Casper Cowboy has been a star through the winter for David Harrison and he was just simply too good for the opposition. I know he dropped in class last start. Previous to this, he'd beaten Centrum. Leet Matif had the job to try and run him down and wasn't up to the task. Leap motif and back behind them on the inside, Northwater Boy. Danza Dash has lost a bit of ground. He's back second last, straightening from Metal Flake. Casper Cowboy levels up with Island Force as they race to the 300 now. Rhodes gives the fave his head and he quickly drops off Island Force. New design, Leap motif. Casper Cowboy bounded clear. 150 to go. Casper Cowboy three and a half in front from Leap motif. New design, but it's all Casper Cowboy. And down to the line, Casper Cowboy by three and a quarter. Now let's go to the Belmont Trials. Jason Brown, stable jockey for Jim Taylor, rode Al Katarina on this occasion. She was racing in weaker company than she deserved to at the trials, but she was nursed over the concluding stages. Three wide attacking the leaders now, with Roaring Home on the inside and Spin Move in the centre, and just behind them was Friar Truck, who's starting to come out three deep now. Our Katarina and Friar Tuck are the two now, and it's Friar Truck and our Katarina reaching the lead together from Roaring Home, and then Spin Move. It's Friar Truck and our Katarina. Big Friar Trucks in front from our Katarina. The margin about a neck. Friar Truck just being urged along. Our Katarina under a good hole, but Friar Truck wins by three quarters to our Katarina. And interestingly enough, the horse Friar Truck, who uh, beat a home there in the trial, came out and ran a blinder first up and then disappointed on Wednesday. But that trial form's OK. You can trust me on that. Let's have a look at the uh, selections in race number eight. 
And uh, I'm sticking with him, Casper Cowboy. He's just flying at the moment. To beat seven, Lover Buzz found him at the trials. Geez, he won well. I know the horse Diamond Highway bucked and threw himself out of the race. But uh, Lover Buzz, I think, is going to run a good race. I like this horse. Eight, our Katarina, another horse I like. She'll race well fresh and be charging home. The 1,000 could be a little, little short for her. And for the quartet players, I expect you to get a run out of six priceless symbol. Better suited at the 1,000 metres. Tricky race, Marty, but I think the top way to stand out, number four, Casper Cowboy. He is a class act, this youngster, and he just continues to win and does nothing wrong. Mm. To beat number six, priceless symbol, he was very unlucky at his last start. Uh, ignore the eight of 12 at Belmont because he never got a crack at him. He's dropping back to the 1,000 metres, which better suits. And I'll put him into run second. To beat number eight, Cat Al Katarina resuming. And for the quartet players, throw in number two, Lucino.